Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on rules of thumb or basically just planning your move. Now this would apply whether or not you're doing it yourself or you're going to hire a moving company. It's still the same planning is involved. So we have a couple different steps to this and the first thing that you want to do is you want to plan ahead, right? You don't want to wait to the last minute especially if you've never moved before or maybe you've been in your house for a long time and you've accumulated a lot of stuff over the years you definitely want to plan ahead right so i suggest a couple months ahead start packing getting all the loose items in your house into a box believe me it seems like oh we'll, we'll just put them in a box and we're good to go it's actually really really time consuming and exhausting you can really wear yourself out doing that. You know, the last time that myself, I've been doing this for 20 years and our family was still packing stuff the day before the mover showed up, right? And I'm in this business. I know exactly what to do. And we started two months ahead of time having all the kids pack their belongings, make sure everything's in the box. So you definitely want to plan ahead on that, all right? You want to give yourself enough time because you don't want to be rushed. And the next thing you know, you're putting stuff in boxes and not labeling it, your you know, stuff's getting damaged because you're throwing it in a bag instead of a box. Those kind of things do happen quite frequently. So you definitely want to plan ahead. Now, part of that is actually picking your moving date. Now, one of the common things that I see that, that customers will tend to do is they'll want to schedule their move day on the last day that say they own the house or the last day of their lease. Well, I think that's a big mistake and, and here's why. I know that that's, you know, you wanna like live in your house right up until the time that you move and you don't wanna disrupt your life. However, what happens if you're planning to move, uh, you know, such and such day, it's the last day you own the house and there's horrible weather that day or you get sick, you know, someone in the family gets the flu, you twist your ankle and you have to go to the hospital. I mean, it could really wreck things and you wanna have a plan B there, an additional day or two just in case something happens. I think it's really important. The other thing as far as planning the day is I think it's important is you definitely want to give yourself plenty of time to unpack and then rest because you don't want to move on Sunday and have everything you own still in a box and then you're sleeping on the floor that night and then you got to go to work on Monday. It just makes things much more difficult. So definitely plan ahead, give yourself enough time to do everything. And I would say a general rule is whatever you think it will take or the estimation of effort it's going to take to do something, double that. Because being in this business and seeing what I see a real typical basis is people just don't realize how much stuff they actually have. It's in cupboards, it's under the steps, it's under the beds, it's in the attic, it's out in the shed, it's in the basement. And we all, as we go through life, you know, accumulate more things. We don't really realize it, but we buy this and then we put the old one in the basement. And it's just part of being a human being. And unfortunately, people don't realize how much they have until they have to put every single thing they own into a box to try and move it to a new place. One of the other things that you need to think about is any type of items that you have that are gonna be particularly difficult to move. Say you have an exercise machine in your basement. Well, you may have ordered that online and some company maybe came out and put it together and it didn't look like it took too much to get it together, but of course, those guys do it every day. They're trained to do it. They put hundreds of those machines together, so it looks fairly easy to them. If you're gonna do it yourself or maybe your mover isn't familiar with that type of machinery, it may take a good bit of time. One of the things I recommend is if you have something like that that's kind of complicated, just look it up on YouTube. You know, it's a good place to find information. That's why you're here right now, right? There may be your exact model of your elliptical or whatever that there's a guy showing you easily how to take it apart. It could save you a lot of time. But definitely like look through the house. Anything that you have that's like, okay, well, I, yeah, I didn't move that in here myself, you know, and some guy put that together for me or whatever. TVs are mounted to walls. I mean, there's lots of examples I can give you for things like that, but you definitely want to pick those items out and take a little bit more planning, a little more research when it comes to those particular items. The other thing is just variables, right? In the moving process, and this again is whether you're doing it yourself or you're hiring a moving company, there's just so many things that go into a successful move. And there's a lot of things that you just cannot predict as far as variables go, right? Again, you know, you're planning on packing this weekend because you're moving on Monday and you got your friends and they're all going to come over and you're going to do pizza and beer and have a great time packing up your house. But then all of a sudden there's a death in the family with one of the friends or who knows, you know, they get called into work. And next thing you know, you're on Sunday night, your movers are showing up on Monday and you're not packed and you told them you'd be packed. And then when they show up on Monday, 
now the job's twice as big, right? So that kind of brings me to my next thing. So what we recommend that people do is you definitely, if you're hiring a mover or doing it yourself, you want to separate out the move into segments, right? Packing and prepping, which is basically packing would be putting all the loose items, breakable items, just any item that's loose into some sort of a box or a tub, something like that, that needs to be done definitely on a separate day, in my opinion, than the actual move. So if you're hiring a mover, you don't want to try and pack and move in the same day. You'd much be, you know, much, much prefer to be doing that separate days. It doesn't matter if you pack a week before you move or the day before you move, that doesn't make a difference. But when your mover comes to load the truck, they're gonna not just stack all your furniture on top of themselves. You need to put the furniture in and then you need boxes to put on top because of course these are lighter and you don't wanna you know, have all your heavy items stacked up on top of each other. Then boxes at the end of the move stacked up 10 high and they're crushing down on each other and falling apart, right? So it's good to have everything ready to go before you actually start loading the trucks to move. Everything packed, everything prepared. Again, your weight machine taken apart, that type of thing, right? So that's basically it. It's just, I would just say in general, people they will underestimate, again, the estimation of effort involved in the move. And often we'll have customers that say, okay, they look around their house and they're like, okay, there's a huge couch there. There's a huge refrigerator. There's a huge dresser. You know, I can't carry those things. So I'm going to hire movers, but they think to themselves, oh, well, the packing is easy. It's not heavy. But the thing that you need to realize with the packing is that it's just very, very time consuming and it's exhausting. And especially if you've lived in a place for a, a number of years, uh, people tend to, as they're packing, they're like, oh, well, do we need this or not? So they start kind of decluttering at the same time they're packing, which just dramatically lengthens the time that they're actually doing that process because now everything they pick up, they're like, well, do we need this? Are we gonna keep this? Oh, I didn't remember we even had that. Trust me, it's a typical thing. If you're gonna be doing that, you need to plan months ahead. If you've moved in the past two or three years and you feel, feel pretty comfortable that everything you own, you're gonna keep and it's not something you're gonna get rid of, this is gonna be a little simpler process. But trust me, the general rule of thumb is the longer you've lived in the place that you're at, the more stuff you have and the more stuff you don't realize you actually have until you start digging around, digging into the basement, opening up the closets, going into the attic, right? So just plan ahead, put yourself a good plan together, give yourself plenty of time. Don't book your movers or don't book your rental truck on the last day that you're in the house or in the apartment. And just give yourself some time after the move into the new place to rest, to unbox everything, get organized so that you're not going into your work week with, you don't even know where your underwear is, right? So it's a typical thing. We see it a lot. So I'm hoping this helps you guys. Good luck.